everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to Ask Think, episode number 132 for Monday, December 15th, 2014. And I said that date like I did because it's important, and you'll see why in a little bit. So let's get to the question I asked you guys last week, and it was if you could be a character on a TV show, who would it be and why? And it didn't have to be on a TV show. It just happened to be that. And I should have specified, but, but some people did do movies. So we'll start with Wookiee54321, who said he would be in Star Wars and be Chewbacca. And of course, Fish Jr., because the two of them are always together in Club Penguin, <laughs> said I would be Han Solo, <laughs> so I could call you Fuzzball. <laughs> Crystal Pretty Wing said that she would be on My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, and she'd be Applejack, because everyone knows that she's the best Pony. A couple of people said Maggie from The Walking Dead because she's awesome and, well, they haven't killed her off yet. <laughs> um, Zoe Gappa said Reed from Criminal Minds or <laughs> Garcia from Criminal Minds. So I think that that's probably their favorite show. Purple Owlcat said they would love to go to Hogwarts as herself. But those are movies for a TV show she doesn't really know. But yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Piglet World said it would be easy, sleeping a beauty, which, man, I would love to get <laughs> that much sleep. Uh, AJ Sweet said an old one, but Wacko Warner from the Animaniacs, <laughs> which is pretty cool uh, that people even remember that. Nini Orozco said Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. I know it's not a TV show, but they love Harry Potter a lot. Uh, Beat Drop Soup MC says they would be the professor from Gilligan's Island, which I totally did not expect to see. Bingo Girl says everyone prepare to laugh. Winnie the Pooh, because she grew up watching Pooh Bear and learned a lot of science from the show. And uh, no, my wife really, really wa uh, loved Winnie the Pooh. Sneaky Fox 456 says Jake the dog because he stretches so far and knows how to make bacon pancakes and has super adorable Rainicorn puppies with Lady Rainicorn. Aaron Santa Maria, you know, and I did this as TV show or movie so that, you know, maybe uh, you couldn't choose me, but Aaron <laughs> kind of skirted around and said, I would be someone named Think Noodles from Gaming Show in My Parents' Garage, which technically is a TV show, so there you go. Now, this is funny. Uh, People said um, some of the Ninja Turtles and Leonardo, Donatello, and Michelangelo were all listed, but nobody likes Raphael. I feel really bad for him. A couple of people said Bart from The Simpsons because he's naughty and kind of like them. And then it came, well, so I, I thought I knew what the most popular answer was going to be, and I was wrong. Uh, it was it was actually, I think this was the most popular just by a hair. Uh, Mabel from Gravity Falls seemed to be everyone's favorite. I mean, the most popular answer. And then um, someone said uh, they would want to be a guest character on Gravity Falls. And then a few people said Dipper from Gravity Falls. Then uh, one person said Waddles the Big from Gravity Falls. And then the mysterious author from Gravity Falls. So Gravity Falls... A character on Gravity Falls overall was the most popular answer. Um, a couple of people said the girl from Girl Meets World, which I've actually never seen. I only all saw the original Boy Meets World. A couple of people said Kevin, <laughs> which I had to put it in there, even though it's not a TV show. Now, here's the one that I thought would be the most popular answer, and it was the Doctor from Doctor Who, because, you know, he has time travel and capabilities and all of that stuff, and, uh, you know, it, I thought that would be the most popular answer, but it wasn't. A few people just said Kopi. <laughs> just Kopi. Um, a bunch of people said Ash Ketchum from um, Pokemon, uh, because he never ages, and also um, because he has Pokemon. I mean, what else? A uh, few people said Jerry from Tom and Jerry. Nobody said Tom because Jerry always beats Tom. Uh, so here was the second most popular choice or choice of show. Uh, first, a bunch of people said Patrick from SpongeBob. And then a bunch of other people said SpongeBob from SpongeBob. Um, a couple of people said they would be themselves because everyone's unique and they can have their own unique character, which I was like, whoa, that's crazy. I mean, I guess if I would have to choose uh, someone and, and so, I, you know, I limited you guys to TV shows and I'm going to limit myself as well. Uh, I, I would have chosen 
um, someone from Harry Potter if I could choose a movie, but I have to choose a TV show. And I would go back to last week's episode with Phil from Modern Family because, I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of like him in a lot of ways, and I love how he is always so happy and, you know, and sort of like, not oblivious, well, kind of oblivious, but, but, um, but more so that he is just blissful. You know, he's always happy about everything, even when he doesn't know what's going on. It's just, I don't know, I just love the character. So uh, Sam Gonez has next week's question, and this is a great one. What would be the memorable thing that you would save in a fire? So uh, if, you know, if you lost everything in a fire and you could only keep one thing or a flood or anything else, some sort of natural disaster, uh, if you could only save one thing, what would it be and why? Now, before we get to the questions for me, I want to remind you to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. Remember, only one question per comment, but you can leave as many comments as you like. Also, if the comments on this Ask Think are closed, go to the most recent Ask Think and ask your question there. And the first one is from Neuroforce Gaming says, well, you always say one question per comment, but you can leave as many comments as you like, but that's basically bypassing your own rule because if you post like 20 comments and each comment would have a question. No, that's actually the point. Uh, the reason that I do it so that you guys separate it, because you know, if someone asked a hundred, well, not a hundred, but let's say someone asked five really good questions and they separated them all the comments and I wanted to include them all and ask think, I would do that. You can have multiple questions per episode, but uh, in the beginning of Ask Think, before I started making that rule, what it would be is people would put like six or seven comment or questions in one comment, and I would see one question that I really liked and wanted to use, but it's like, but uh, I can't go and answer all seven questions. I just want that one question. So that's why I want you guys to separate them out. Crystal Breadywing says, think why is there a support this channel option on your channel page? Um, that's something that my network just I guess was approved to use on YouTube and they suggested that I just add it to my channel. It's just, um, I don't know. I'm not even really sure how it works. Uh, I don't know if it works with PayPal or anything like that, but, um, it's sort of, uh, you know, if, if someone wanted to, or your parents or something wanted to donate a dollar, $5 or whatever, uh, and that money or some of it comes to me to support my channel. The next couple of people mention today's date and Sheena1234 Isation had put this on the last one and then realized that I had said it in the previous one. But three years of Think Noodles today, guys, today is three years. Uh, December 15th, 2011 is when I started my channel and uh, Rainbow Daring Dash had a great comment for congratulating me for courage, brav bravery, honesty, and being faithful to all of you guys. And I get the Diamond Noodle Award, which obviously is, I guess, a little bit better than the Golden Noodle Award. So thank you, thank you for wishing me a happy third noodle or youtubersity or vidersity. I love all you guys as well. And thank you guys for all your support over the last three years. It has been, wow, what a crazy ride. Let's, you know, toast to three more years or decades or centuries. Let's hope we live that long, right? Mystery Girl says, hey, think there's another account called Think Noodles 2. Is that you or someone pretending? No, that's me. That's just where I put my Club Penguin content. And eventually, maybe I'll use it for other things. Claw Rach says, I just watched your Draw My Life and I was wondering who is your wife? Is it the girl with the really long hair? Your first girlfriend, also what's her name? I forgot. Uh, the girl with the really long hair is my wife and her name is Rochelle. And guys, huge milestone yesterday, uh, I guess on the eve of three years of my channel, hit a million views on my Draw My Life. Unbelievable. And uh, if you guys haven't watched it, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. And I Apparently it's pretty good, uh, seeing as it got a million views. I didn't think that I was all that interesting, but apparently I am. Thank you guys again for your support. A million views on it. I seriously, I remember when I made it, I was like, wow, that was, you know, uh, the, the response is really good. And I was uh, talking to my father-in-law and I was like, man, did, you know, they watched and like, wow, that was really good. You know, that, that, that's going to be really popular. And I was like, yeah, you know, might get 200,000 views. He's like, no, it'll get 500,000. And then Look at this today, a million, you guys, unbelievable. Lego Craft MC says, I got a sprained wrist and my question is, have you ever had a sprain? Um, well, I used to do a lot of inline skating and I would always wear wrist guards and I'd 
I've actually broken my wrist guards before. Uh, so <laughs> probably I would have worse than, I probably would have broken my wrists when I broke the wrist guards, but, um, but uh, I have sprained my ankle playing basketball before really, really bad in college. Tanetha953 says, if you weren't making all these videos and playing Minecraft, Pop Tropica, et cetera, every week, what would you be doing instead of instead to earn a living? You know, so my job prior to this was, um, well, websites, but even before that, I was working for Cisco Systems in uh, enterprise and corporate networking. And, you know, I really, really do love networking hardware and um well it's it well I, I don't know what they call it now because it was called ios with a capital i uh, when i was working at cisco systems before but now ios is with the lowercase i is apple's operating system so maybe they call it internet os but i really really love the problem solving with networks and um, routing protocols and um it did, i really really loved that because it was challenging and really, really rewarding when you figure out the whole problem and um, and get everything uh, configured properly. So I'd probably still be working for Cisco. Snow Stiga says, have you ever gone skiing? If so, did you like it? Yes, and I love to ski. It's been a couple of years since we've gone. I really wanna go this year. Maybe, maybe my wife will have a chance. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I love skiing and my wife is a really, really, really good skier and I'm kinda okay, I mean, I guess I'm pretty good. Not as good as she is, but uh, you know, I, I don't know. I think I take more risks, so I fall more. And <laughs> just because I'm crazy. Mickey 2000 MK says, think I wrote a little song for you just to make you a little bit happy. So don't be sad anymore, just be happy. And uh, you guys can read it, but think was mining in a mine and was founded guilty of that crime. The police put him in jail. But he sent Kevin an email. Kevin went to the store and started the third world war. That sounds pretty true. Uh, he bought some noodle soup and made the sound bloop. He bought, brought the soup to Think and colored his face pink, then went back to the lab and found Kopi lying on a slab. She was angry on the green lizard and Think turned into a wizard. Think was happy with his new magical powers. He was trying them out for 10 hours. Kevin was so mad at him, so he went to the gym. <laughs> that was great and seriously upvoted. So I definitely had to feature that because that was really, really cool. Nova Cat says, it's surprising how many people nowadays can't read read or write cursive. So my question is, did you learn to read or write cursive in school? Well, reading cursive, I think most people can read cursive pretty easily. I mean, there are funny letters like Q and stuff, uppercase Q. Um, but yeah, no, I, I learned it in school. It was, it, was, uh, it was important at the time. I mean, we had, I, when I was younger, we had penmanship grades and stuff. But um, uh, I haven't written, I, I probably still could, but I haven't written cursive in many, many years. Um, I always write in print, even though I think writing cursive is faster. Uh, I just don't do it. The next couple of people reference the protests here in New York, and they're huge. Uh, over the weekend, I am not kidding. We had to walk through it, and it was peaceful. There was no danger or anything like that. Um, but we, I mean, there were tens of thousands of people in the streets here in New York um, protesting uh, just police violence um, against, I guess, um, uh, civilians and uh, basically what happened is there was a uh, a man in Staten Island uh, they were trying to arrest him and he said hey don't arrest me and um, they were a little bit aggressive in taking him down and he had health issues and he died um, so what happened and people were upset and think that they applied too much force and so um, the uh, the a grand jury was to decide whether that police officer may have been wrong and whether he should go to trial uh, for some sort of crime against this person who was killed. And the jury decided that no crime was committed, even though there was video footage of him um, choking the person. And the, the uh, medical examiner's report said that the uh, victim died from the chokehold. So it really upset people that this guy, you know, a lot of people think that this police officer got away with murdering someone who was not a threat and that's what people are really really upset about and, and, and it's happened with a few other cases all over the US and uh, it's all kind of happening all at the same time and so people are very upset and a little bit afraid of police officers now because they're worried that <laughs> that could happen to them at any time so um, you know I, I'm, I'm not gonna get political about it or I'm not even gonna you could probably infer, but I'm not going to state my opinion, but uh, you can probably infer it from the way I was 
presenting you the argument. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think that it is, um, if people are upset as a community, uh, it can bring great change as long as they're peaceful. And the, the, the protests here in New York have been very, very peaceful. It's just people marching in the streets. It's been organized. Um, I mean, you know, there are, of course, a few people that, you know, walk in groups and, you know, and, and block tunnels and things like that. But nobody's getting hurt. Uh, people are being arrested for, you know, blocking streets, but but no one's been hurt. Uh, there's no looting. There's no fires like there were in Missouri over a similar case. Sheena 1234 ization says, think if Google Plus never existed, would there be about four times more comments? Uh, yeah, probably. Um, there would be a lot more comments and they would not be deleted or disappear. I don't know what it is about Google Plus. Well, one, I know some people don't want to sign up for Google Plus accounts to make comments. And two, they just disappear. I have no idea why. Jessica King says, think, how do you feel when most, when people post mean or nasty comments, e.g. your videos are rubbish, etc." Um, you know, it depends. If it's something like that, you, your videos are rubbish. I just go, okay, hater, bye. Uh, you know, I, it doesn't bother me, but, um, you know, some, there are certain comments that it's really, I mean, and it's crazy because, you know, you'll, you'll see a hundred comments saying great video. I love this. I love that. I love this. I love that. And then your eyes as a YouTuber go to that one single comment that's highly critical and you can't get it out of your head. And it, you know, it's, it's funny because like I said, there's a hundred other ones to offset it, but for some reason your mind just, you know, pinpoints that one comment and, uh, it can bother you. It does bother me. DJ Damon 360 says, think, have you ever played guitar? I did when I was um, in high school and a little bit in college. I haven't really picked up a guitar in many years. Blazer Girl says, I was wondering in New York, is it crazy this time of year? I'm guessing is it hard for you to get Christmas gifts for loved ones? Yes, absolutely. Oh my goodness. Over the weekend, this past weekend, it was insane here in the city. Suffix Gaming asks, will you ever go on a plane since 9-11? Yeah, I mean, even though I was scared and all of that stuff, um, it's that's modern life. You you know, if you want to go anywhere, you kind of have to fly. So the, I wasn't afraid to get on another flight at all. Joseph asks, is your PC monitor 1920 by 1080 or 2560 by 1440? It is 2560 by 1440. And the way I record with it is I put Minecraft or whatever game I'm playing into a 1920 by 1080 window. Water Fairy 66 asks, is Kobe going to help with the Christmas tree? And this is hilarious because I put the questions together last night. And when I was reading this one, Kobe was running around with our tree topper, which is a Winnie the Pooh, which I talked about before. It's, it's an angel Winnie the Pooh uh, in her mouth. And I was like, oh, she really is helping with the Christmas tree while I'm reading the question. Silver Dennis says, I think I cannot decide on what my channel needs to be about. I want it to be about Redstone and playing Minecraft and playing random games. I love each of these things and cannot decide. Please help. You don't have to. I mean, so your channel should be about you, what you like to do and what you like to play. And it doesn't necessarily have to be about one thing or a group of things. And the other thing is you can start it with one thing that you really want to do and you can add things or take things away or whatever you want. It's evolving and it's changing. You can start it however you like. Dhruv Patel says, I think I was just wondering if you like Indian food. Love Indian food. Oh man. And I have to say, so, you know, we have, we have, Decent Indian food here in New York. At least I thought we did. I thought we had good Indian food, actually. That's why I say decent now, because when my wife and I went to the Maldives, which if you guys don't know where that is, it's right off the western or southwest of India. And so there are a lot of Indians there that can really, you know, you got Indian chefs that can make Indian food like it's meant to be made. And oh my goodness, I thought I liked Indian food. But when I had the Indian food in the Maldives, I fell in love with it. Oh, it was so good. The Toad Bros 18 says, why do you want to play The Sims? It's kind of inappropriate for young viewers because you're family friendly. Well, because it's fun. And I think that you can avoid or at least censor out anything that is inappropriate because there's so much fun stuff you can do. I, I just want to play it. 1999 Blue asks, did you watch YouTube Rewind 2014? Yeah, I did. I thought it was really excellent. Um, I really liked, I liked how they put the, uh, the beginning on, you know, with that, with that, I guess 
YouTube play button, rewind button device. And then they did the whole thing. And then at the end, kind of tied it all together. Ben Nicastro says, think I was watching some Terraria Let's Plays lately and it actually seems fun. It's like Minecraft, but very different at the same time. What do you think about instead of playing Minecraft PE on Mondays, playing Terraria or just playing Terraria on your channel, period? You know, I have been thinking the same thing as well. Uh, the only problem is I don't think they make it for Mac. Um, so I would have to either play it on Xbox 360. I'm not sure if they have it for my Kindle or my uh, Amazon Fire TV. Maybe they have it for that. I might be able to play it for that, but I wouldn't be able to play the computer version. So I don't know if they're different, you know, as far as content, kind of like P Minecraft PE versus Minecraft uh, PC, but definitely eh, considering it. Minecraft Gaming says, think no offense, but I feel like your survival series can get boring at times. You're so overpowered, it's hard for you to explore any further. Do you think it would be a good idea to start a new survival series, Noodle On? No, I love the Noodle Planet. It doesn't matter. I mean, so the, the word survival, right, means survival mode in Minecraft. It doesn't mean I'm trying to survive. Um, it just means I'm not in creative. That That's that's kind of the way that the series is and has been. Um, definitely, I'm over my... I mean, there's really like... There, well, there's a couple of things I have not found yet, such as a mushroom biome and a mesa biome, but... I mean, other than that, right now, I think I've discovered everything, but that series is more about my domination of the Noodle Planet rather than my exploration of the Noodle Planet. Uh, for exploration, adventure, and things like that, that's why I have the Crazy Craft series, because there are things that challenge me. There are things for me to explore. Speaking of the Noodle Planet, Cody Walton says, I have a new project for the Noodle Planet. It would take lots and lots of times, and you would need a lot of acacia, but you should build the Golden Gate Bridge connecting the desert to the other side of the ocean. And someone actually sent me, I think it was, I want to say Mapfall, but I, I could be wrong, had sent me a picture of them on the Noodle Planet having created a bridge like that. Smiley Free, oh no. The next couple of people ask, well, kind of the same question is, how often do you do world downloads for the Noodle Planet? And I will, uh, I usually do them after I've finished a number of projects. So right, after I'm done with the ship, I'll probably give out an updated world download. Moog, who craft us, think you added the campfire mod to your latest Noodle Planet video. No, that was not a mod. That is entirely vanilla. I don't put mods other than Optifine on the Noodle Planet. Um, except when I do a Think Slab episode, I do make a copy of it. And uh, because it's on a server, so I so I um so I make a copy of it and bring it into the Think Slab modded thing and do whatever I need to do, and then I just delete that copy. Uh, but yeah, I don't use mods on the Noodle Planet at all. And you can add that campfire if you follow my instructions to your 1.8 world. Diamond Biggie says, if you were stuck in the Noodle Planet, what would you do? A, freak out and try to get out. B, be calm and chill out with your dogs. C, just start life in the, a new life in the Noodle Planet. Or D, break the computer screen and get out. You know, I, when I thought about this question, I was like, I'd probably <laughs> be calm and chill out with your dogs. And I was thinking, you know, it'd be awesome to have a dream that I was actually in the game, in the Noodle Planet. Oh man, I am dreaming for that dream. The Gaming Cyborg says, think in Things Lab, how do they sing the banana song? Is it like the move a coward you edited it in? Uh, the banana, banana, and when they're all in there saying hello and all that stuff, that is their idol sound as a mob. Nike is awesome 23 says, where did you get your cape? I got it from the last Minecon as an attendee, they give it to you. Or actually, you didn't even have to attend. As long as you bought the ticket, they send you a code to activate the cape. Samantha Barton asks, how long did it take you to get the controls at Minecraft? I'm gonna get it soon and I do want to do it on my channel. Not that long. Uh, it really is, I mean, th there's only like, <laughs> there's only like five keys and your mouse. I mean, you know, there's W, A, S, D, and space. Uh, there are two other ones, you know, E, well, one, you know, E to open your inventory, and usually it's Q, and I switched that to R, because that was the one thing I had problems with, uh, when I would get really, really freaked out, or excited in Hunger Games, I would inevitably hit that W key, and sort of lean over to the Q key, and drop my sword, so that's why I moved it to R. Finn Pooter asks, how do you get the glass to connect? Um... Well, I, th I think you're talking about Crazy Craft and the mod does it automatically. I don't have Optifine installed, so I don't really know, but um, that, that might be a function of that glowstone glass. 
But in general, if you want regular glass to connect, you just get OptiFine. Javon Green says, think what are those big craters in the Noodle Planet? Uh, if you're talking about in the desert, uh, where it makes it look like the moon landscape, uh, those are creeper explosions. Kelly Kawaii says in the Think Slab episode, the second date, Kevin drops the diamond to create the Twilight Forest portal and Juliet catches on fire. Did you expect that to happen? No, I did not. And I was like, oh, what do I do? So uh, I just waited for it to not be on fire. And then in editing, I added the part where Kevin was really concerned about her burning. <laughs> Cindy Zhang asks, can you say "ang" without touching your lips? I, I just tried N, N, N. No, it kind of sounds like N. Uh, I don't think I can say N, N. No, not doing it. <laughs> That's not going to work. Gabrielle Freeze asks, from a scale or on a scale from 1 to 100, what is your favorite color of the alphabet? Um, I would say uh, it's a toss up between sweet and sour. I'm just not sure which one. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of Asking. Don't forget to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, new line.